good friends. Garden folk. Toes gang. Welcome. 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 Well, you're not over. You're over here. Welcome, everybody. How you doing? Good to see you. It's a good old fashioned Wednesday. And just like every Wednesday, I guess we're having a stream. That's like it's pretty standard at this point. I'm not doing anything else that's consistent with Wednesdays. I mean, I have a water bottle that I, I usually have a water bottle. So that's cool. There's a computer in front of me. So that's also unique to Wednesdays and other days, I guess. But we are back for some more gameplay, at least. And um, unlike Monday, that includes playing the game. And this game, luckily, is, is the PTU. So we actually have some pretty interesting stuff to play. Usually I'm like clawing at the walls to try and find something to do <laughs> because there's still not that much of the game that I'm super interested in. There's still not. Engineering is still kind of getting there. Exploration, all that jazz. But there are new things and I love new things. So today we're going to jump into the FPS realm of gameplay. Um, I am going to be check. Hold on a second. Let me. What am I doing here? Never the one to record at the right time. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a little FPS deep dive today into distribution centers. We're going to be checking out these new locations in 323 because, um, well, <laughs> they sound like fun. And it's I think it's the only location update for this patch. Only major one we've had for quite some time. So join me and you'll get to see plenty of the features of 323 we're going to be doing combat stuff so a lot of that that's that's where a lot of the features in this patch are going uh the mini map obviously is up there we'll there'll be different you'll see plenty of stuff but the focus for today is definitely to try and check out these distribution centers and see what kind of missions they offer now problem with that is that uh i'm not i'm not seeing those missions popping up here hold on Shubin Processing Facility. Defend location and deliver confidential materials. This Shubin Processing Facility on Calliope. No, that's probably not going to be a distribution center. So I don't know what these are called or what they look like or anything like that. I'm thinking I probably need to do a mission to get set up with Microtech Security, whoever hosts them. Um, get on their good side and then they'll start giving us a couple more missions so maybe if i just take one of these take a security um evaluation try a delivery or bounty they show up there too okay let's check it out how you doing by the way balderdash good to see you bounty assignment dax umeda ghost hollow damar Calliope. Wait, is that SPMC 11 on Calliope? Is that the same place? No, this was this was 10. And then would you say uh, delivery missions as well? UDM Unified Distribution Management. Do, 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 do. This is aid shelter and this is. Do, do, do. This is a derelict outpost. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to um, get myself a little bit of rep. Or maybe just give the game some time to deliver one of these missions to us. In the meantime, we got to get we got to get equipped. You see a server speaking. <laughs> AAK living up to the name. We need to get all but equipped with some good stuff because we're going to find some people to shoot. And even if we don't find people to shoot, we're going to. Oh, look at that distribution center. Hold up. Is that it? It's just a missing person? <laughs> Confirm the location. Why is this person dead at a distribution center? Last seen entering the... What the heck? What kind of place? What kind of distribution center is that? <laughs> Kidnapping people? All right, let's do it then. I'm going to take the mission, but I still want to get some stuff. Good morning, i -Corps. How have bugs been with the new update so far? You know, we won't know much about the server performance till live, but any non-server related bugs yet? I have not really run into many non-server related bugs um, besides things like reloading not working, which I'm pretty sure is all server related. So, uh-oh, doing all right. 
gonna... <laughs> Sorry to lay down in front of you. Why is my prone set to that? That's so annoying. I really don't want to prone from pressing left control. Okay, so crouch is now C. Left control is prone. Gotcha. Good to know. Gotta know what the teabag button is. May encounter the armistice zone bug at DCs or bunkers. You won't be able to take a gun out, but you can get a sh you can you can be shot. Hmm. Well, can I have shots? Hey, welcome in by the way, everybody. I didn't say my hellos today, but you know I mean it. Tusball, Reese, Mr. Reese on both platforms. I see you. Stakar, welcome. Space Marine, AKR, Vassin. No space punk, no dance. Hey, man. As a great man once said, if all stream starts are hyped, then no stream start starts are hyped. Oh, I butchered that. Sorry, my dude. Oh, okay. See, that's that's one of the biggest problems in this patch. It's like everything takes a long time to work. Andrew, what's up? Good to see you, Jack. Ah, back here to talk about Starship Sim again, eh? That's, that's three for three. Jaybird, good to see you, Nigel. Welcome, Jerry. Shifty, my man. How you doing? Doom, 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 doom. Marco Olio. Hey, dude. Zero. Luna Maria, good to see you. Good morning. Doom, doom, doom. Brigadier Bo. Dude, how is the cutter treating you? PK Payback. Good to see you, Toes Gang. T -t -t toes. You gonna work with me now? We are on the EPTU right now. I didn't I didn't put that in the title. My, my bad. Signusian, welcome man. How you doing? Pizza Hunter and Mark. Good to see you both. Wave two when? I'm thinking they're they're they probably want to try and get to wave two by the end of this week if they're still aiming for an April, at least April open PTU. I don't know if, I don't think they'll get live, live, live. Anything new about the hangers? Not yet. I am waiting for this roadmap roundup as eagerly as you all are. Possibly more so. I have a video that is ready to go. It's on, it's, it's on YouTube. It's, it's good to go to cover um, cargo updates for 323. But if they delay it today, <laughs> that changes things, doesn't it? I really, really hope they don't delay it today. <laughs> Please. So, I, I know nothing at this point. Uh, I'm waiting as eagerly as all of you. You think they might go wave two tonight? Yikes. For, for the record, I still haven't been able to use this kiosk. I don't, this isn't ready for wave two. <laughs> this is bad. The servers almost don't work. There we go. Okay, see now it started to work. And now we wait for things to load in. Currently putting together a new 323 build with further performance and stability fixes. Recover is back on. If all goes well, we will assess if we can open up to further waves after build is up for a few hours. Yeah, I think that assessment's probably going to lead to a no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very That's much. That's my opinion on, on how this thing is performing right now. A-A-K. Gifting out a sub to Baldur Dash, getting started for the day, my man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hey, look, MedPen showed up. Let's get him while they're there. Yeah, I mean, it's at least they're assessing for wave two, I guess. Do I think we can feasibly play a game loop in this game without a helmet or undersuit? Yeah, for sure. That. Missions that only take place on, on planets. Yeah, absolutely. Or even in space station. They're trying to do missions that only take place in delivery centers or distribution centers, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Not like we're going to see them today. All right, let's go to the store and get ourselves a pew pew. And a couple of block block. Don't know what that is. Block block is like the sound that armor makes, I guess. You can't even load into the P2 PU since yesterday's patch. 
Did they patch you, uh, the PU yesterday? Bold of them. PU, the PTU, the PTUP, the PLOU, the EVO, the um, the technology preview, the the preview channel, the the quantum, <laughs> the quanta, the quantanium, the server meshing. I don't know. There's so many words. <laughs> In this game, I've never known so many words associated with a video game before. That being said, my main game before this was probably Halo. And um, that would be the main words you'd need to know were, I need a gun. And, uh, wart, wart, wart. <laughs> That's mainly it. You just shoot everything else. Oh, man. Somebody on Twitter today told me, I know, I know, Twitter. Somebody tell, <laughs> somebody was making the case, and it was actually Zero State. Um, or no, I'm sorry, Zero State was talking about this show, but somebody else made, talked about Fallout, this new show. I'm sure plenty of you have watched it and how it's really good. And then talked about Halo and how it's really not. And somebody was like, yeah, it makes sense. You don't have much to pull from with Halo. And I'm like, nom, 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 nom. my friend, my friend in fucking harmony, what? <laughs> Just censored the word sweet. How could that, like, it's, I was like, there's plenty of, oh no, this is the expo center. They always get me with this. No, 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 don't leave me. No, no, dang it. <sighs> Why do you guys even stop at this station? <laughs> oh, what a bunch of dicks. So. I'm like, my friend, there's, there's so much content in Halo to choose from. And he's like, no, it's just, it's just Spartans fighting aliens, <laughs> which is just a disgrace that, that, that world, that universe been around for like 23 years. <laughs> it's been, it's old. It's older than the people who are playing this game. How would there not be enough content in the, in Halo to make a good TV show with? miss me with this please why don't i read signs i have a mini map i don't need signs they're trying to tell me that there's not enough lore in halo to make a good tv show with oh my god i always say the best tv show for halo would have been contact harvest get somebody who can play the hell out of Sergeant Johnson and give us a cinematic action thriller about the humans meeting the Covenant for the first time. Come on. How could that, like, what, how? Why is it so hard to come up with a good TV show for Halo? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... <sighs> hey, look, they're doing their new animations. Are they? Y'all doing new animations? Yeah, you're stretching those legs. It's good. There you go. Get the get those hamstring stretches in. Does the meme app work with transit? Um, I think they said they were working on that, but since you can't actually see local maps in between locations right now, I don't think you can really test that out. You know what I mean? Like I can't see the starport from here. It's all just the city. Halo is just pew pew alien. I, I I prefer the pew pew human part, to be honest. Like the whole pre-covenant insurrection stuff going on. Um all the the whole reason the Spartans were originally made, right, was because of the the UNSC was fragmenting apart from insurrectionists on the outer rims of their space. This is not a weird it's not a weird fiction it happens in almost all star sci-fi um that would have been another great time to do a tv show before the spartans even existed the creation of the spartans holy crap depoco how you doing good to see you imagine having a similar conversation about star citizen after squadron releases and the game is out officially new players come to the game without playing squadron you mean because they might think that it has no lore star citizen 
Could have made a good show about CE if they wanted. Yeah. I bet, um... Can make a real hardcore TV show about Captain Keys. That guy is a monster. He's a beast. He's a beast, my friend. Yeah, there are a ton of Halo books. So many. And they're like not new. <laughs> I, I read them as a kid. Read and loved the Halo novels, so Halo could be a great show. Yeah. Even like Ghosts of Onyx, Contact, Harvest, Fall of Reach, Primordial. There's like a, a ton of really good mini series inside of Halo. All right, this person's reported missing kiosk. Like, they're waiting for us to go catch them and find them. Are you gonna just make us wait to get armor? That's... What is... What's going on behind the scenes? Let's us see. Server FPS. Averaging about... All over the place. Between a 4 and a 9, it looks like. B-Win is doing B-Win things. Tis a bummer. Um, but this has been how the PTU has been running, really, for me, at all times. There we go. You're a time traveler from 2048. You played Star Citizen 1.0. It's pretty okay. Pretty okay. That's not bad. You're telling me the game still exists in 24 years? I'd say that's a win. <laughs> they could do Ancient Humanity, Forerunner War with the Flood. Oh, but there's no Master Master Shep or uh, Halo guy. What, what's his name again? John 11 Chief. There's no John 11 Chief in there. I'm, I can't get anything. Do we think hangers and freight elevators will make it in? I think we find out today. I think today is probably when most of the stuff either gets confirmed or gets pushed. I don't think they're going to leave much, if anything, as tentative after the update now. Hmm. All right. We are we have a bit of a problem here. Oh, wait. We have all of our own stuff already. Oh, man. I'm so stupid. We didn't have to be doing all this. All right, hold on. Let's get some... Let's get our stuff on. How about Star Citizen 2? Electric Bungalow? We're going to go look like a cool, cool, cool soft armor guy today. Even complete with the helmet what kind of guns do we get oh that's good fun let's grab an s38 a c54 and uh that should be okay should have ammo for that we do not problem we got a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment and we got a med tool with some med pens. Do we have any backpacks, though? We do. Look at that. So we'll put the med pens in there. Whoa! Oh, man, everything's gone. <laughs> okay. A job well done. Billy, two names. Thanks for the 100 bits. There we go. It's back. Howdy, Gladiator. Master Cheeks. What is my best guess for when 323 hits live? I think second week of May. You like the Halo Netflix series? They do have their own spin on it, but it's not a bad show. Not been a good live action Halo movie or series up until this point. The Halo Netflix series, wasn't that... Wasn't that the one about Colton? What did they call that one? Wasn't that the worst one they did? Because 
Forward Under Dawn was probably the best live action they've done. Then they did that other one. I don't know if that one was the Netflix one or not. Oh, you're not talking about that. You're talking about the new one. Uh, the new one's... I don't know where it is. Paramount, maybe. Or... What's the other one that's like Paramount, but not? That's how you want to be known. What happened to my C54, man? They just took my gun? All right, let's take a let's take an LMG. <laughs> we'll just go all out. Nightfall, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was on Paramount. The new one's on Paramount. Okay. You like it? I If we want a great Halo show, we have to go back in time to the good old days of high production and high good production and high standards. Are you telling me you don't think any TV shows have good production or high standards now? There's so many good TV shows. All right, let's go save this person. He's waited long enough for us. We've got all the tools we need. How's it going with this patch, Aridy? Uh, it's 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 painful. The server problems. Everything else is good. All of the stuff I'm doing is is working very incredibly. It's the same problems that we've had with Star Citizen this whole time. Server. Exhibit A. Um, maybe server meshing will help with it. Maybe it will allow other things to help with it. But for now, it's nom, 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 nom. it's still it's having trouble. Wave 2 PTU, I'm thinking sometime this week. Elusive Spartan in chat. <laughs> star, star, star map is a bit of a misstep. Really? I quite like it. What are you what are you not enjoying about it? How does that dynam dynamic crosshair feel? I have used it I think once. I haven't changed the in-game I haven't checked the in-game prices yet, no. And I don't know when the resistant hangers are gonna come. I hope, I hope they still do. I hope we see them in this patch. The waves also come with new patches generally, yes. The auto zoom when you open it, making you zoom out every time. Oh, okay. Not showing you all the locations. Those would be two good fixes. Well, wait, not showing you all the locations. You mean like when you're looking at the map? Yeah, that auto zoom in's not the best. Um, like when you're looking at a planet and you have to scroll to see the names of locations. You'd like to know, how am I liking salvage? Ooh, I have not salvaged in a while. I haven't, I haven't salvaged since probably January or February. Last time I did it, I was doing mainly the um, tractor beam focused stuff. What kind of problems are you having? Anyone know how to turn the QR code off and the ship shake off? QR code's at the bottom of your game settings, your main settings. Shake is maybe the global camera shake. I'm not really sure about that. My 
Yeah, I think those sound like things that, that won't be a problem in uh, Star Map too much. I kind of like that the names don't show up for everything when you're not looking, because it gets really cluttered really fast. But the auto the auto zoom in is an annoying one, yeah. Um, see, these distribution centers have pretty decent landing areas. We'll take the good old C1. No news on a reset for 323 just yet. Maybe your expectations were too high for the star map, but you'll take anything over the current one. I'm, I am satisfied with the update. I think there are small things that I'd like to see tweaked out. Um, but overall, from a major standpoint, like, you know, I'm, I, I like to dig into the details of all this stuff, but I also like to try and take a step out and imagine what is this going to look like six years from now? Like, how are we going to remember this development? We won't remember every little thing. The way that I think back to this star map launch, I think will be positive. I think I'm going to basically be in the boat of, yeah, at 323, the star map made sense. That's when, that's when I think they figured it out, at least design wise. And they had to get some other things going, but uh, for the most part, this is, it's a freaking nice system. <laughs> Was the hangar access spelt wrong? Italian or cherry tomato? Take your pick. What the? Stop doing this to me. Just take me to hangar five. Your birthday's March 23rd. How is 323? I'm enjoying it. We're hoping to run some missions here in distribution centers. Get a chance to see what the place looks like. Remember when keyboard was a thing to play this game? You don't play with keyboard anymore. Daryl. Need to acquire your locations quickly. Wouldn't it be quicker to search? Where'd I get the name Space Tomato? Um, Space Tomato kind of came from another name that I was already using um, around mainly Reddit to talk about Star Citizen. And I wanted to make that name a little bit more sci-fi spacey. So I put space in front of it called it a day <laughs> originally i don't know why i chose the name tomato before that um i'm actually allergic to tomatoes and I, i'm not a huge fan of them but i think they're really i think I, I don't know they're 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 super friendly right like they don't they're they make you feel good i don't like tomatoes but when i see them i'm like oh yeah yeah buddy F yeah <laughs> you're a tomato you know gives you that kind of feeling so i was like makes you happy who doesn't know what a tomato is like what country isn't cooking with tomatoes um and yeah it's kind of you know just keeps going from there it also makes a lot of sense like when me and me and mrs tomato were talking about it um it was like everything about tomatoes was fun to do branding advertising little things that we could say and come up with it is just it's like a it's a it's a fun kind of thing. Try to have some fun with it, you know. Started to become a sweaty PvP player. What sorts of side effects can you expect? Extra sweat. Be sure to wipe off. There are no missions at the DCs yet. I'm on one right now. They added them into the most recent PTU. Well, at least so it seems. 
Not the the <laughs> the critically acclaimed killer tomatoes from outer space. Actually, no. Um, I've I'll probably be crucified for this one, but I haven't seen that. I got we gotta have a watch party of that movie at some point. Can't gauge that speed yet because of inc input lag. <laughs> Tomato Talks Premium Marketing. It worked out like that. Highly allergic, only a little allergic. It's not going to kill me. My allergic reactions to it are, are more uh, mild but long term. As opposed to, like, your throat swells up in 10 minutes and you can't breathe. You enjoy following the development of the game more than the game itself. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's 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 a big reason most of us are here for the earlier years. That's what got me making the Star Citizen videos. All right, so yeah, that's that's not great when the map does that. Definitely still some things to solve. Um, where is our mission? There it is, Kovalex Distribution Center. It's Sigil. What do you mean routing not available? You shut your mouth. Toes. Toes. Tanks right, ranks right up there with Monstered. <laughs> hey Shogi, thank you for the sub, mate. Have I played Starship Simula Simulator? No. I, I follow the project, but I haven't played it. I don't really play many games, to be quite honest. Ooh, them clouds though. Wow. <laughs> it look good. Wanna... Uh. We got spam on Twitch. Mods. Mods! Where the f are the mods? Get the scrub out of here. So what sauce do I put on pizza? If the, uh, okay. I have or or what's called oral allergy syndrome. And, um, basically, okay. I've got to remember how to do this. I've got to switch over first. Um, basically, any fresh fruit or... Yeah, mostly fruits and vegetables fresh will give me a reaction. But if it's cooked, pasteurized, anything like that, then we're good. By the time this game is finished, AI will make games for us. I hope the AI make good games. And I hope this game is never finished. Any updates on drop date? Uh, no, not yet. We might get something today. All right, I'll boot this person out myself. Bye-bye. Opening doors is so hard now. Always has been. How do I like master mode so far? Don't have wave one access, so gotta mentally prepare for it. It's definitely a learning curve. I haven't experienced it enough to know what I think of it. it Cause I just haven't been doing anything. I haven't been able to really play the game that much, but um, I do think that it would have really helped to drop this with the new um with with the new what's it called quantum travel system instead of dropping them at different times because the part of master modes i care about is the quantum side the navigation side <laughs> have to space your tomatoes Do -doom -tsh. How do you like the new map from 1 to 10, and what are the minuses in your opinion? Uh, 
It can be a little bit clunky at times, not showing up, being weird. I like it at eight. I know that there are some things that are missing, so. Yeah, quantum boosting, but also the quantum system in general, I think it's gonna change with some manual input kind of stuff. And they just seem to have been developing it lately. Okay, so now I could switch just straight into flight mode. I'm gonna set us on cruise control here. I'm gonna give us something a little more. Do I own every ship in the game? Jesus, no. I don't own very many ships. Hello, Mind Monkey. Has stability been so far? Rough. But we've got eyes on our first distribution center down there. I'm going to uh, DC. Oh, a lot of stuff just popped in. Please open. Shouldn't they like give me a landing spot? Hey. Hey y'all. Give you a little get in my party. Still get the old end notifications if you're, I guess that's for like calm stuff. All right. So I'm thinking we set down here, but I need to get to the lobby. It looks like so I need to land on top. Bit of a problem. Y'all could have told me you didn't have any landing pads up here to fit me. Hmm. All right, let's see what ha let's see if I can fit on here. Nom, 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 nom. Does that work? I think that works. We're good. I'm gonna call it good. Uh oh, the ship just shifted when I turned the engines off. That probably means not good. Yeah, my ship is pretty messed up right now. I need to get a repair. And yeah, the new lighting changes are looking pretty good. I do not have Vulcan on, by the way. Um, if you want to see my graphics, I don't have Vulcan on. I'm not using upscaling. Um, yeah, I mainly have 
Oh, they call it photo mode now. Slow. I should probably keep it at very high. I'm so used to a low frame rate, I don't even notice the clouds slowing down my frame rate. As Mrs. Me Mrs. Tomato mentioned in chat, we do still have a Drake Cutter giveaway going on, guys. If anybody wants to win a copy of Star Citizen, you can! Believe it or not, right here. It's really easy. It's exclamation point giveaway makes the link come up. Go into the link, do the little things. You'll get into the giveaway. We'll announce a winner. Could be you. And you can either take that ship for yourself with a copy of this game. Or you can give it to somebody if you want to get a friend in. And uh, this door... It's just not going to open. Yeah, the hangers wouldn't open for me. Probably because I didn't wait long enough. All right, let's set up our third person view. Like if this was a third person game, where would the camera be? He got kind of above, over the shoulder, still looking fairly far forward, not really down. Don't think this game will ever be third person, but it's kind of fun to set up the the, the uh, camera like that. Started with a started with a Titan, upgraded to a Bandu Merchantman. Jesus. Ooh, am I gonna be able to get back in here? Oh no, we are not. We are indeed, in fact, not parked in a good place, guys. You wouldn't believe it. Ooh. How's our front looking? Okay, if we just back up and go to the right a little bit, we should be good. I can fix that. I can fix that. Just now have to wait for the uh, doors of forever. Hey, I think the parking was okay considering half of my ship is hanging off. I tried the keybind a lot. Okay. Let's light them up. Are we not going to turn on the engines? <laughs> Can we not turn on the engines anymore? How messed up is this ship? Oh boy. I'm not even getting power. This is all lag. Are we getting input lag right now? Oh, man. Pain. Pain incarnate. Hey, I could be missing a whole wing. I still want power. <laughs> also, I'm not missing the whole wing. My ship's just dumb. Hey, somebody got the holes reference. Nice. Yeah, there's no way this should go to wave two right now. Y 
Yeah, not in a locked channel on the Discord. I, I do, don't expect anybody to join that's not being invited. Lag has been happening a lot. Took you five minutes to turn your ship on. This is worse than I was getting before we go. Here we go. Okay. Power. Power. No. Nah. Now I gotta wait for it to power on. There it is. Oh, and we've damaged more of our ship now. Wonderful. Oh yeah, look at that. We lost uh, a whole wing. Oh my god. Oh yeah, no, we're in trouble. No, this ship is not flying correctly anymore. Whoa, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Okay, I think I think my thrusters are No, I can fly straight. Something was just really messing us up before. Okay, let me just try and right the ship here. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. We uh we 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 just fell out of the sky. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we made it all the way to the distribution center with all of our stuff and everything else we'd just done. That's good. How deadly are these new animals? I still haven't seen them. I'm still just trying to see a distribution center, man. Throw it on the death list. Patch deaths are now up to two. And overall deaths are now up to 206. Good for us. I had one job, only one job, make it to a distribution center. Couldn't do it. I couldn't get out of the ship. I just wasn't ready to take that big a step. There are missions that take you to distribution centers, yes. Can't blame that flying on the game. I absolutely can. <laughs> I didn't have any thrusters. I can blame the, the, the landing on myself, of course, but I was not in control of that ship. Whoops. For the future, just go inside. You can call a new one in the lobby. You can call ships at the DCs? Usually it's an immediate re response, um, but because of uh, <laughs> server problems, uh, it is very much not immediate right now. Excuses. That's all I've got. You don't like the, uh, the HUD? Like the one I have right now? I think the HUD is glitched right now. I shouldn't even have that minimap up. Ready for live, is it? I don't know where a javelin is in this patch. No, no clue. Minimap isn't glitched. Don't I have 
It's showing me the visor minimap. Shouldn't I have the lens one? This is a very intense map. Uh, nom, 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 intense nom, nom, song nom. for this interaction. We're just going through a, a hospital, DJ. We don't need all that. I haven't seen any vehicles moving around in the space map. Square without a helmet, round with a helmet. Huh. Did they change that? I could have sworn it was the other way. Coffee and suffering vicariously. You're the one drinking coffee. I'm sorry. I wish you the best. Boy. To toes. There we go. A little more light. Hey, Big Juicy Supreme. Huge shout out to yourself, my friend. Thank you for the Prime sub on Twitch. It goes the longest of ways. What's up, Lord Skippy? How you doing? I think you're going to be happy with that. Oh, yeah, ma'am? Last time I bought one, it didn't even come to use. So what do you know? Flight combat will be much more close up. But it looks a bit cluttered with all the squares and stuff. Do you think it'll look like this even after 4.0? I think they'll tune it in. Um, by squares, do you mean like the targeting over the other ships? I think they'll develop the UI in line with, but separately from the rest, from, from Master Modes itself. Master modes actually, or the UI probably is more easy for them to iterate on than master modes. Toes. What do you do to win a cutter? Type an exclamation point giveaway in the chat, and that will bring you to the page where you can find all the things to do for the cutter. Can I get rid of this? There we go. Think it was always round with no helmet? Think that they said it's because it's a contact lens. Right, that's what I got. Or that's what I thought, but I'm being told in chat it's the other way. And the, uh, it's showing me around. Oh no, now it's round. Okay, why did it show me a square one? So it was glitched. Because it was showing me square before and I didn't have a helmet on. All right, we're going to try this again. They added freight elevators to Evocati patch notes. Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God, Jesus. So does that mean that there's a patch coming pretty soon? So I really don't feel like sitting here and downloading it while I'm live. That'd be a bit unfortunate. Now I don't have a tractor beam. That's very annoying, but I don't feel like going to pick one up, to be honest. It's going to take too long. Let's just grab an LMG. Hope we don't need a tractor beam and go for it. They need to add a way to remove trash and a job that pays people to do it. Yeah, they do. Lanier dropping the sub on Twitch. Homie, prime sub, 13 months. 13 freaking months, man, over a year. Thank you. I hope you're having a good one. According to who? Um, according to 
the commander center. The command center. For Evo right now, maybe wave one later. All right, we can confirm. Hold on a second. Ah, oh, shucks, Lanier. See, now, this is good music for a train ride. Where the heck do I find that stuff? Uh, patch notes. No. And I have no idea where oh, regression, EPTU. Oh, you can't even hear it. I am indeed a full time YouTuber. In fact, me and my wife both do this full time. Everything that we put out is what, what we do as a family. Is there a unique code to enter for the cutter? Yes, it was given at the streamathon we hosted. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Nom, 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 Announcements. Nom, nom. General. Issue council feedback. see anything about cargo elevators. Maybe somehow half. Up to further ways after build is up for a few hours. Whoa! <laughs> He was lying. I don't know. We'll see. The truth will the truth will come out soon. Let's see. What was I even doing? <laughs> oh, we got to get to the spaceport. We're at the spaceport. Wonderful. I should be going up the elevators. No, no, no. I'm not making that num num sound. <laughs> that's a uh, <laughs> that's people falling following. Not sure what's more work, YouTube or your current job. Both probably suck on time. Hey, man. Whatever you're doing, I'm sure it's good fun. When, you know, it, it's the fun part. Every Everything has some not so great parts of it. Hey, is this your elevator? You gonna come in here or just, uh... Looking real shifty out there. I'll let you be. Or he works for CIG. Maybe that was just Chris Roberts dropping in here real quick. <laughs> hey everybody, I heard I heard freight elevators is coming out. I don't know. I don't know uh I don't I don't know anything about this, but yeah. Toes. Toes. A is no. Um nom nom, thank you. Appreciate you on the super chat. Much love. 
He got picked up by a train while standing on the station at Area 18 the other day. Like the train just intercepted you. Dude's trolling hard. Just block him. I don't need to block him. He's just... <laughs> he's like a sad old dude with a with some kids that he wants to make feel better by making fun of people on the internet that he has nothing to do with. That's his prerogative. Some people have nothing better to do with their life. As of today, you were able to experience the bugs at decent frame rates once you get <laughs> once you got the game downloaded. Dude, the bugs are so much better when they run at a high frame rate. I like crashing more when I can tell why I'm crashing. Hey, come on now. Though the freeze is still happening with replication off. They turned it back on. For this patch, at least. Um, that being said, yes. Everything is still running incredibly slow. Yo, Echo. Prime sub seven months, dude. How's the, uh, how's the cotton candy milk treating you? Still got that original bottle? Oh, you have a 1080. Yeah. <laughs> a 1080 is going to be rough. Um, I, I was running on a 1080 Ti and that was not doing great. Props to you, though, for doing a 1080 still. That's pretty good. <sighs> Come on. Just let me choose the ship. Just let me <laughs> let me choose the ship. It was delicious and now it's gone. Still got the bottle going. Man! Acting like you drank it. I don't blame you though. Didn't you say it would have made good creamer? <laughs> I'm not testing Vulcan right now, Gumbo. I am uh I'm not, I'm not that strong. I also have enough things going wrong in here. I just want the game to run as, as good as it can. So we could just Welcome. see it. Thank you, please. Just let me get any ship, any ship at all. I don't care what it is. I'll pick it. It's, it's just put it on the screen. Just let me click it, please. Uh, uh, I said I didn't care. Pisces. Give me a Pisces, please, 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 please. Come on. There it is. Yet enough from the little slip. <laughs> See, I know, I know. 1080 should go into the Guinness World Record book as the longest running video card workhorse in history. It's pretty good. You know what else is? I think it's the 1660. Also has some legs. I don't even know when the 16 series came out of graphics cards, but they've been sticking around, and I'm pretty sure they were like the most popular graphics card in the Steam database for a while. Wait, the Pisces is broken? The Pi- the, what? Come on. How is it broken? <sighs> they have no retros. Why would they do this? <laughs> I did say any ship, but I do want to make sure it at least has an interior, and the I guess the Vanguard does have an interior. But none of these other two do, and I'm not taking a hammerhead there. Get out of here. How about we take the Terrapin? That's a safe bet, right? Nothing ever goes wrong with a Terrapin. I can just smash into the ground multiple times and not have to worry about blowing up. AMD 7... 7800X through 3D is a good CPU for this game. I concur. Oh, I do. Does DLSS2 work in PTU? I don't know if it's DLSS2, but their upscaling methods are indeed in the testing. Like, you can turn them on if you want to. Yeah. Is no, I'll catch you later. The stream should last. We're doing one a little bit longer today. 
because I did miss you all on the uh, streamathon for a little while there. Hangar 2. What are my thoughts on the new radial menu and looting UI? I like the looting UI. Uh, it's reactive. It's got good sound feedback. It's fairly intuitive. I think it could use a little bit of work in terms of like the icons. Um, oh, they updated. Oh, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. yo, that's why we wait until this goes live before we do a full review. I'm literally like I'm writing my first impressions for a video later this week. And one of the things I was going to say was I wish they would update the icons to be a little bit better looking and more descriptive of what they're used for. And here it is. Backpack, armor, legs. Good job. Iterative design. Um, yeah, I like this system. This is, you know, you can even hear like the sound effects. It's more, this is more than we get in interfaces in Star Citizen. It doesn't really like give you feedback and make noises and do things. So that on its own is already a big update in my opinion. Um, I haven't used it in an FPS setting yet, so I don't know how well it does in terms of keeping the flow of the game going, but I, I, I like the way it looks so far. I like that they said that they're going to customize it to look different for civilians versus combat helmets and stuff like that. Um, all good. It is the, the one weird thing to me about it is like if this can just flow up onto the screen like this, why doesn't the Moby Glass work like that? Why, why does the Moby Glass have to come from my arm? So there's a little bit of discontinuity there in my opinion, but I like that. As for the radial selection stuff, I, I'm i down for it. I mean, I'm, I'm used to it. It's what we had in terms of the personal inner thought system before. Just kind of expanded, and I didn't really have a problem with it back then. Now that I'm using it more, we'll have to see. Maybe I'll have more problems with it. Can I show what box and ship inventory looks like? Um, you know, I don't think the ship has... I, everything else still looks the same. It still uses the same inventory. So, like, if I get out of this seat... Let's have them open the doors first. Um... So this is still the ship inventory. Still looks the same. This isn't going to be gone until they get the freight elevators in. Then we won't have that anymore. Hello, Zhao. How you doing? Jao. Jao. I, I looked up the pronunciation of your name. You're right. It's not particularly easy for somebody who doesn't already know it. You are clear to launch. You're not Yvacati or a subscriber, so you're wondering if you could play or not or not. No, it's still wave one, uh, which is still fairly limited.
Okay. Back on our way to this guy. Is this guy, this guy's been waiting so long. <laughs> I hope he's dead. <laughs> Oops. For his own sake, I hope this guy is just dead because <laughs> he's waiting for me to actually get there. Uh, poor man. It's never ending for you then, sir. Like, I haven't even figured out how to quantum travel to you yet. Oh, I'm in SCM. That would be why. See, the master modes takes a little while to get used to. I like that when you're in the quantum travel mode, you don't have a bunch of arrows um, pointing around. You know, you know how you'd have arrows all over the side of your screen, basically telling you, yes, there are indeed quantum travel markers everywhere in space. Who would have thought? One thing I like about this new system is they don't really show up until they get closer to the center of your view. Maybe some people don't like that. I find it clutters the screen up a lot less. And it's those kind of little quality of life improvements to these big systems that I think make it feel a lot more like they there's some real thought into these into these things. That being said, this is part of what I thought I think is going to still still change with the new quantum travel rework later this year. I don't think this UI is final, uh, and I think there still needs to be a lot more granularity to it, customization options. You should be able to be tracking information from your star map, putting it onto your screen and overlaying it, filtering out some of these locations, a, a lot of other stuff. But I think what they've put in here is the bare minimum they want to put in for master modes as opposed to the actual quantum travel rework. So we'll see about that hopefully in the next update. Is the detail at distance higher than before? It is. Or at least it appears to be so. Switching between master modes is holding the B key. Ship vector marker seems to be missing. Have I read the master modes feedback thread? I think I've gotten some of the splash damage from it, to be honest. I haven't gone in there yet. I don't know, man. I'm... I... F I f man, people... The way people talk about Master Mode, you would think that you are actually kind of crazy to be okay with this. I'm in no way gonna discredit the fact that this is going to take relearning of a system it's going to be clunky it's going to be annoying but i'm also somebody who was here at 3.0 when they did that before and we complained a lot at first and now people really like the flight model and want to go back to it um it could be better you know objectively or subjectively but i i find um I don't know, I find myself liking the design ideas behind master modes. Maybe the actual implementation of it needs a little bit of work. I think that's why we're here in the alpha version of this game. But the overall design goals, slowing down combat, separating out flight modes, and making people make decisions based on what they want to do, all of those things ring true for me in terms of building this game and making it have cause and effect, choice and consequence. That's what a lot of us are here for and enjoy the game for. The way that it forces you into these things, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of. I will give you that. And um, a lot of the knock-on effects that are coming from it also make me question how much they're going to be able to make it enjoyable for average players. But I'm going to give them time to prove that out. I think that the overall idea is still pretty sound. There, there are definitely, there's my old ship. There are some tweaks they can do to things like shields. Uh, they've already ch changed the time it takes to switch over in master modes, depending on the size of your, whoa! Oh my God! <laughs> okay. Man, this thing, this place just does not want me to land. 
Okay, so maybe I will just land on this side. Is there is there anything actually here that's going to kill me? I feel like I'm going to get down here and then suddenly something's going to appear and we're just going to implode. We're okay. Everything is okay. I don't even have a tractor beam. I tried ATC. They didn't answer. Hey, Fuibon. Counter fake. Met you through your server meshing video. Great presentation. Thanks for watching it. There is an updated server meshing video, too. I think it's a little bit more hype. Oh. The final boss meets me right at the doorstep to my ship. Don't kill me, please. I'm just trying to find a missing person. Can, can my door close? Is that an option? I'm assuming it's closing. It's just lagging. Oh, okay. Let's try and get past here. All right. So... First time in a distribution center. See if we can go find a missing person. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. The map, in the mini-map, you can actually see the other parts of this location. Because they're all actually loaded in, right? They're not... Everything is existent in the game. It's not loaded out sitting somewhere else. So I wonder if you see somebody go through doors down there. It shows up on this map. A little bit laggy this location but honestly it's it's feeling a lot less laggy than um, it's feeling much less laggy than their normal new locations like when the derelict outposts came into the game you could barely even see because it lagged so much oh huh I didn't even do anything there Manoj Love the streams, SC fan from India. How you doing, man? Welcome in. Good to see you. It's pretty late over there, eh? Ooh. Got a little hangout space here. Whoa, are these Habs? Wow, imagine this being how you sleep at night. Just a wall separating you and the next person. Can I log off here? I probably shouldn't lay down. That's gonna that's gonna end with me being in a glitch I don't want to be in. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Dang it. The bed heard me and said, nope. It's too late for you. Let me out! Prioritizing the map app? No, I think the server lag's coming from their backend stuff. Okay. Kovalix, you got dangerous beds. I'll give you that. What else is in here? Oh my god, this place is dark. Imagine working here. There's like very depressingly dark. And there's nobody here! <laughs> Sir! Excuse me! Was that music playing in the game? It's nighttime. Still! These places never sleep. Come on, it's only nighttime on this planet. Okay, so there's a missing person in here. Is that what's going on? Am 
I allowed back here? Oh, this seems this seems like I'm not supposed to be. Ooh, what is this? Wee! Ho ho! You guys might have a bit of a security issue back here. Whoa! <laughs> Where are we going? They should definitely get this checked out. I mean, this is just like... Out there in the open. Oh, this is like a full-on service area. Hey, Dr. Gearly. I bet they'll put engineering gameplay back here. Yep. Where you have to control power and components of these places. They'll probably put it down here. This is definitely going to be some uh, more industrial-focused stuff. Probably stealth, sneaking in stealth-wise. Whoop! Okay. Let me go. Power facility. For sure, resource management stuff going on here. Energy distribution central core. Whoa! <laughs> hey! You also, uh... Just an innocent civilian down here not getting into any trouble? This guy, uh, where did he come from? Why did he, why are you just dead here? Okay, I feel like we're leaving. Let's go back into the facility. I don't think I can pull out my gun here. Do I not have a gun? I do have a gun. Is that supposed to be the missing dude? Why doesn't he have a marker on him? He has nothing to loot. Um, I don't know if this is my guy, guys. Yeah, I think this is for somebody else. Good luck, other person. Let's go deeper in. No more mission text. What the heck happened? I didn't even get a notification. Doesn't say I completed it.
Does this door not open? I can't tell if it doesn't open or if it's lagging. Let's head downstairs. First time at the UGF. First time inside, yeah. Well, without getting shot at. Ooh, a loot box. Let's try that again. Okay. Literally my first encounter with looting and it's not working. Okay. I guess we're not doing that. Let's continue. Maybe this one will work? No? Okay, cool. How about this one? Looting is broken. I am I'm I'm surprised. This music is so dramatic. Oh, crap. I just opened DaVinci Resolve. Elevator? Elevator to no oh Where do you go? Open open back up. Actually, I'll probably get trapped in there. How do I get downstairs? Doing some color correction. What does that mean? Mm, that's my ship. Need to find a way to get down below here. Like, look at all this. There's an absolute ton going on down here. But how do we reach it? It's a big place. What do I think about the new mini-map? I like it. It can be a bit much. Like, look at this. Look at my mini-map right now. Can't really tell what's going on there. Yeah, it's not letting me, um... Not letting me set up a marker down there. Only on the same floor as myself. Actually not letting me set a marker anywhere. Yeah, route making is not working here right now. This place is huge though. It wasn't letting me single out a few, uh, a single floor either. It lets you do cross-section, but I don't think... No, I can't even cross-section this right now. The map here is just really unfinished compared to the other places. God, these places are huge, guys. Absolutely huge. Look at this. And then they go outside, too.
Oh, you know some people edit in Resolve over Premiere. I, I much prefer Resolve to Premiere. Right now I'm still using Premiere because I'm on a year contract with them, but I, I, I like Resolve more. I'll probably be switching over this year. Yeah, let's get back up to the regular space. Like, we're we're still in the underbelly of this whole building. Um, we need to get back up to the actual floor. Maybe that'll help. I forgot that we're in the, the act, we're, we're in the service corridors. This place is ridiculous. This is the secondary part of this whole structure. How the heck do I get out of here? How do you think CIG will handle building interiors and cities? Ooh. I need to see more of this system. And I need to get out of this system, too. Toes. Hmm. Dakan... Daka. Thank you for the sub, mate. Three months. A whole quarter. Keep it up. You keep it up, my friend. Appreciate you. I don't think caves have maps yet. Did I just hear a door open? Ah! <laughs> I'm out! I have escaped! Oh. <laughs> and this goes to the top floor. Perfect. Lobby. Cool. Ever need a head of help? Shoot me a DM video and do podcasts for a living. Oh, nice. Whoa. Okay. Over 100 yet, or are we still stuck at 100 players? Uh, I don't know. Should, do I trust this, or do I not trust this, guys? I don't think I trust this. The mission that took me here is... Uh, reported people missing in the investigation. Uh, there was another exit here that was not an elevator that I think I trust more. Why do I have a CS1? Oh, is that where the crime stat shows up now? Power facility, central core. Back this way. This way. Mechanical room, I think it was here. Oh no, this is the other door. Here we go. Ba boom. Let me out. Oh my God, imagine if this is where you get stuck. So you can't grab onto the ledge. Grab the dang ledge. Come on. Put your hands up and grab the ledge. Is this is this what's going to be my end? I figured my way out. Now give me my reward. Seriously, how did I make it all this way and I can't climb up the I am not crouched. I'm standing. 
I don't think I can make enough boxes to jump up there. I don't even think I have enough space to make a staircase. No, this guy's just not gonna grab on. Dang it. Okay. Hmm. Gotta rework the ledge grab rework. <laughs> elevator to the top floor. I guess we have to trust the elevator, folks. Oh, man. How is everybody... Wait, hold on. Can we go around the outside, maybe? I really don't want to fall to my death. I don't want to start this over again. Try the elevator. It should be fine. Yeah, that's what they all say. What if we keep going this way? Let's see what happens then. Can't jump up there because it's alpha. Nonsense. I bet that's how it'll be when the game's finished. The signs continue to tell me exit this way. So I will continue to go this way. This is where you died? Open the door, please. It looks like the other side of this door is pretty substantial. I don't see any other part of this floor there. I might climb up and be back on the first floor. But if it requires climbing, you all know how that goes. I am so trapped. There we go, there we go. Let me out. Ah! Oh! God! Ah, uh, f*** me! Wait! No! No! <laughs> It's all just a torture simulation. <laughs> we made it to somewhere special, and then we died. Is that where you died, Sig? Or Marcus? Ah. Oh. It was like, you're not gonna go in the elevator? I'ma do it anyways. I'ma elevator you anyways. Oh, Cold Kimber with the sub on Twitch. Yo, Twitch, you guys are popping off today. Thank you. Appreciate you. Much love to you, Colt. The Colt Classic. Six months on here. All right, let's throw another one on the death count. I'm doing pretty good. That's two deaths in one day. That's like way higher than the average. How much are you guys usually dying a day? Please tell me it's more than me so I can feel better about myself. <laughs> I'm kidding, I, I suck at this game. Oh, this is my favorite way to respawn. The comforting other underworld. Probably should have set my spawn to the space station, but you know what? I bet you that wouldn't even work. Every 40 minutes you're dead. Three times per session in the EPTU. Yeah, EPTU makes everything better. Good morning, sick. How you doing? Distribution centers might be a little bit broken, folks. Also quite dark. I hope that uh, next one we go to is in daytime. Okay. Are we just gonna... 
Is that how it's going to be? <laughs> when is Spiffing Brick going to do his first Star Citizen video? Sick doing better now. Glad you're here to make me company. Hey, we're glad you're here to make us company, my friend. Welcome to chat. Can we get can we get sick a good old classic garden greeting, folks? Give a little shout. Exactly the footage CIG needs in those play now trailers. Respawn now. With our extra immersive respawn system, you can feel every second as your soul is dragged from your point of death back to your respawn point. We are not accountable for whatever you do in those five minutes it takes to respawn. AI guards, when they scan you, they say you got crime stat, but you got no crime stat. Oh man. Sounds like they're learning from the real world. <laughs> Drop him, he has a gun! <laughs> I don't have a gun! I don't- it's a med- it's a multi-tool! I don't have a gun! <laughs> oh, let's try this again. Wonder what Spiffing could do with this game. I don't understand how the man finds so many exploits. Does he just have a team that goes around playing games looking for exploits? If so, it's a good business model. Good for them that it's so consistent. This game's controls were too complex for you to use with the keyboard and mouse, but it was beautiful. The game's got some wonky controls and they change quite a bit because it's changing so much. Some major key binding changes actually coming up in this update that have had me not doing things correctly. Like to think he just has a talent for it. Wonder where that comes from. <laughs> yeah, R rated. It's a little sad. It's some little dark humor. Have I tried engineering yet? If so, any first impressions? Yeah, I tried it with Astropub on Monday. Or no, Saturday. And I liked it. I had fun with it. I think there are definitely, there's, there's a few things that are missing, right? We got true power management still missing. Um, proper repair, exchanging components. Uh, what else? Fires, life support, gravity controls. A lot of stuff is missing. But as far as it goes, taking damage and working as a team to keep a ship running, I think the I, the 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 experience of it is fun already. It's janky, <laughs> but you know, like a lot of things with Star Citizen, as the jank is scraped off, I think it's going to be really fun. Not for everybody. It's not for everybody. That's for sure. It can feel a little bit monotonous. I think with some of the missing things, but also just the nature of it all running around to the same spots on the ship over and over, trying to replace the components in those spots to keep it running, is going to get monotonous. It's the same places. They're not changing. Um, but when you have somebody who's on the UI calling out the shots, and you can follow those shots, and you can see how it's saving the ship and keeping it running, it's a pretty good feeling. I liked it. We're supposed to be able to manually open doors when they're unpowered. As of now, though, obviously we can't. All right, what armor are we wearing this time? The ones that gave me the thick thighs. And I don't have any more backpacks. 
I've lost all my backpacks. Cool. Because every time I go out, I die. Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. Hey, we can't use 323 gameplay yet. I don't think it's fair to use the PTU gameplay to stomp on the live model. Now, if the live version of 323 isn't doing well, it's fair game. But even 323's PTU is performing quite differently from its live. Or 318, not 323. Do I think engineering will make ships that are soloable like the C1 require a second crew member? No. I don't. How are you going to change components on a single seater? They they they're accessible from the outside. Been a while since you played, didn't know they added a local area map. Yeah, this is the first time that we've ever been able to see it. Like the patch you're seeing right now is the first time this has ever existed in game. But this local area map also turns into the star map. It's all connected, which is very cool. And you can go and Look at all the other things and stuff and oh, I'm about to miss my train. The capsule will be leaving Hold soon. on, I know ma'am, I know. Uh what song is this? This song is called Cogs by Lake Union. Blue Falcon, even the power management in engineering right now isn't full power management, right? We don't have limited power to the different components, so we don't really have to balance how it's distributed. No problem, Charles. You can indeed click on the Stanton Star. In fact, you can set a route to it if you want to. The star. You can also search. So you can do a quick search, click, and it'll take you to whatever spot it is you just searched for. Quick search. Click, and it'll take you to the spot you search for. It's very fast, very effective, works really good. I love it. Overall, this is a great upgrade for the game. And look, we made it to the station. Let me out. Let me out, we made it. No! Damn you, servers! Hey, Gustav. Oh, don't forget to pay off my crime stat, right? Meaning of life from a tomato's perspective is a healthy garden. Do I like global communication, too? I don't know them. One annoying thing about the new star map, as you see it, is that the location names don't flip to face you when you rotate the system. Yeah, it gives it like a dedicated up and down for the uh, star map, which is, I don't know, that it's a, that's a weird thing to do for a star map, I think. 
Well, okay. This is cool. Get some sightseeing. Looks like we're almost to our... Oh, okay. Uh, just We're just hanging out. Only a little drunk. Hey, back online. Back on target. There we go. Cool. It, see, it all works out. Who cares about the journey when your destination is the same? You're just going to flip and do a bunch of f***ing 340s in every direction. But you still end up going where you're going, right? We're good. Hey, there we go. We're back off the reservation. We are... We're free, freewheeling it today. What's up, Wobbly? You see this? The train knows where it's going. It gets us where we need to go. Wait, I don't need it. I didn't want to go to Aspire Grand. Oh, man. Bummer. Working on a three-tier garden at the moment. About 1,250 square feet of fresh garden bed. Woo! You got pictures of those? I actually have been doing okay in terms of my own frames. Server FPS has not been great. Do we have Palpatine in chat? I don't want to go to the Expo Center. We're going to make it, folks. It only takes four hours to do the task we're aiming for, but we're going to make it. I'm not using Vulcan, no. Whoa! <laughs> One of those action stops. Alright, let's go get some armor and stuff just real quick. Uh, is there a place I can pay fines here? Maybe I ought to do that too. Admin center, ship parts... Uh-oh. Fine <laughs> payment <laughs> system. Yikes. You know, let me place a marker here. Stupid, stupid finds. Now set a marker or set a route there. Guide me there. I don't think it can guide me through the train, but I can set my own marker. Stupid finds. Let's just get our weapons and stuff and then we'll go. No, R doesn't work. Hold on, let's see. I can confirm this now, actually. If it works here... Yeah, it just doesn't work between... When the train is involved, I think. Yeah. Oh, I can get it in the hangars? Cool, I'll just go to the hangar then and do it there. Maybe this will work for me. All 
All right, I'm gonna give you like 20 seconds. If you're not working, oh, good job. I really need the ability to just click on the X's for each thing I want and then hit buy all at, at, at the end instead of buying each one of them like this. Oops. Does a ping show you the way to the marker? We cannot ping an FPS just yet. Still only in ships. Okay. Oh yeah, I already had armor. I just needed a backpack. Oh, is it a medium backpack? Okay, so we need to use this armor anyways. Did I not grab a chest piece? They had FPS ping and EPTU. Wow. Chest armor for my chesticles. Marcus, we got them there because they say phrases. Honestly, it, cha it, it saves us from a lack of boredom while shopping. I'm glad they serve us so well. No, the, the attendants are supposed to, like you're supposed to mostly interact with people in this game, but since the people are basically broken because of servers, we don't. All right, I think I just will have a pistol and a shotgun for this one and screw everything else, let's go. Best thing you like about this game is it's casual enough to watch TV show and playing, binge watching Battlestar Galactica. Oh, and Star Citizen. That sounds like an incredible combination. Watching Battlestar Galactica while playing Star Citizen. You notice how many like Battlestar Galactica type kind of themes and shots we have in Squadron? Without those phrases, you'd be lost. I wouldn't even know I was in a shop if those people didn't tell me I made a good purchase. I would think I was just stealing stuff. Thank God they tell me it was a good purchase. BSG still your favorite show of all time. They did a good job with it. It was a little bit before my sci-fi rush. When I really started to get into sci-fi content, I would say it was it was like season three or season four by the time I really started to get into it. And I never watched the full series, but dang, was it not a good piece of sci-fi television. I think it was the first show that I got into with spaceships. I never got into Stargate. Star Trek was a bit before my time. Star Wars didn't have any good TV shows besides Clone Wars when I was growing up. Um, so yeah, BSG was like the first one. Obviously, then The Expanse came. That was big. Now Star Trek is starting to come back up. I still don't really watch it, but I have been watching Star Star Wars series. I'm glad they have live action series now. Andor was right up my alley. It was always funny that they use, use the word frack. And did you hear that voice right there? Use the use. Voice cracking. Sorry, I'm going through. Uh, you know what they say, going through puberty again. In your 30s. <laughs> Babylon 5. Never watched that one either. Do 
Yeah, did anybody ever watch that show, Terra Nova? I don't even think it made it a full season. I guess it must have made it one season, season but... Uh, I remember that one. Oh, God, what else is there? There's this one show about hum aliens that came to space. What is it? Falling Skies? Dark Skies? Something like that. Watch that one, too. I really liked the, uh, the Expanse. I like the books. I love the Expanse books. You know what I think the season three of the show is just left behind by the, by the, what is it? The fourth book, I think it is. I know people say that's their least favorite book, but I think they did a good job with it. Yeah, Falling Skies. You like Terra Nova? I, I feel like I remember digging Terra Nova, but it did not go very far. Ooh, the movie Apollo 13 was a good one. Yeah, that that was that was one of those original like, oh, what is this space thing? Danger and explosions and disasters and constant suspense and tension, you say? Well, sign me the f up. That was Apollo 13 for sure. Looking for a good time. Be sure to visit Wally's bar. If if these different TV shows and movies were like our aunts and uncles growing up, they're like my space aunts and uncles, then Apollo 13 was like the really intelligent one that kind of treated me like an ass and, and made me real scared to go out in the world. But gosh, was it just super interesting. I don't know, do we, do we all have that uncle? <laughs> the uncle that reminds you to maybe take things easy in life? Should do a garden party watch of Lex and let Skippy translate some of the very German jokes. What's Lex? Deep Space Nine. Remember Deep Space Nine? Oh, Gravity was a cool movie. I watched that one late. I think overall my space obsession was fueled more by video games and stuff. Um, and the books related to those video games and anything. But I was also really sci-fi heavy, not just space heavy. Like Gears of War. I had like a whole Gears of War phase. The books are actually really good. Toes. <laughs> Skippy, you did not enjoy Lex? Hello. Are you lost? <laughs> Did it spawn my ship? Okay. Hangar 4. DNC Master. Oh, that would explain why I'm not hearing anything. Hold on. I'm, I lost a cord, folks. Give me one second. Wait. Stay open. Door <laughs> door close. <laughs> Do not close. <sighs> Unfortunate realities. Sorry, buddy. Just had to kill a bug because it came in. Literally, I opened the window, and the second I opened it, it came into the into the room. Star Fox got you into space stuff. Nice. Which one? Sixty four. Or was it one of those newer Star Foxes, the weird one with the? First person, not first, third person. With the, uh, was it like a lady, the wolf, the blue wolf girl, and the star fox. 
and the staff. You had like a staff and you did magic stuff. Star Fox 64. That was a good one. That one truly awakened my hatred for Skippy. Not Lord Skippy here. Skippy the Frog. She... <sighs> God. Distribution centers are in the EPTU, yes. We were just exploring one before it so violently took our life and soul. Star Fox Adventure, yeah. That one was like an almost open world Star Fox, right? You love Skippy? <laughs> Skippy drove me nuts! Always getting into trouble! I'm trying to- I'm over here trying to kill Andros, Skippy. I'm trying to save the world and get to Planet X. And Skippy's like, Fox! I've- I've driven my tank into a- a boiling lake of lava, Fox! I'm like, uh... Oh, I gotta go get rid of my crime stat. <laughs> Do a barrel roll, Fox! Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, the distribution centers are bugged. Always the side mission that gave you extra content. You know what, though? That does add more content to a game. <gasps> oh! V nominated coming in with the freaking, the big ones, Titan I... Titan AE. That was definitely... Yes. Yes. You are reminding me of two of the biggest movies that helped me with my sci-fi obsession. Titan AE and Final Fantasy The Spirit Within. Ooh, and Treasure Planet. I think those were three animated show or animated movies that all came out around kind of the same three or four years that were amazing. Titan AE was just a cool... Uh, premise and everything but Final Fantasy Spirit Within was so freaking cool for its time I don't even know what was cool for its time and I knew it was cool for its time I was a little kid I don't know what the freaking heck they were doing in film but it looked so good and they looked like real people and I had no clue why it had the Final Fantasy name on it but I didn't I didn't care because it was aliens and spaceships and one of the spaceships actually looks a lot like um the Prowler. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Final Fantasy. Here it's within... Dropship? Tell me this doesn't give you Prowler vibes. Huh? Look at that. That's like... It's like the same shape. Give me a, give me a good, good shot of it. Like a good side shot of it. There you go. Look at that thing. So that's what I always think of when I see the Prowler in uh, in Star Citizen. That's an amazing movie, though. If you have not seen that movie, I'm pretty sure it has aged okay for an animated film. I check it out. I actually didn't watch Ghost in the Shell back then. Did the Spirit Within not get good credit? I'm just going to click this and then let it do its thing. Macross and Battletech got you into sci-fi. I don't know those ones. You worked on the ice crystal sequence for Titan Witch Face? That's sick. The one where they're flying through it towards the end of the movie? Amazing, dude. That's awesome. They had a more Final Fantasy themed movie before The Spirits Within. You got a tour of Square LA and got to see early work. Did it get canned or something? Battleship Yamoto and Buck Rogers started your sci-fi addiction. That's cool. It's cool to hear all the different origin stories of how we got here. For you it was heavy metal? Mech Warrior. Nice. 
Gundam. I do recognize the Gundam name. That was really big when I was younger. Aliens is the first Western sci-fi media you remember seeing. I think I also, I saw Aliens before Alien, and I was surprised by how less action-y Alien was. It's like different genres, which was cool. You never understand or forgive not knowing that the number after the Final Fantasy does not mean sequel. You feel by now a gamer should just know. Is it is it super common knowledge? There we go. Now it's working. I mean, it's definitely... It's definitely not a sequel. Like, you can tell if you start playing the games and stuff. But man, they're just so different. What's the explanation? Is Power Rangers considered sci-fi? Yeah! You got these spacesuits that transform people into these cool beings that can create giant robots that connect to each other and fight off large lizards and monsters. I think you can call it sci-fi. Don't pay that fine. Trying to get me to continue my criminal career. Hold up. Look at these clouds over here. You see these clouds right here in the top left corner? Let's turn on photo mode and see if it changes, if it fixes them. It almost completely fixes them. Jeez. They look so good though. Like those clouds are the only thing catching the sunlight left. What if I turn them down to low? Or medium? Oh my god. It looks like they're melting. Back to reference. Or photo mode. And they're basically almost completely fixed. The photo mode is essentially their, their flex. This is CIG's flex of what their what their clouds can look like, but they specifically said it's slow. This isn't expected that what you're going to run your game at, you're going to run it at very high. So it's kind of just there to be there if you want to use it, and I you you can get 30 frames with it on, but if you're looking for the best frames, you're definitely not going to have that running. See, this is how a ship should start. It should start by default in nav flight mode. It's weird that they start you out in SCM mode. Show you guys what we're getting here very high settings with the clouds right now i'm getting about 40 frames per second it looks like 50 frames per second
All right. Okay, let's see if we can get another mission out of the distribution center. And get out of here. They're changing the in-game prices of all ships. Bringing up the cost of most of them big time. Uh, some of the ships are going down in price. Like the P8R is definitely going down in price. But yeah, some of them will be going up in price. They're balancing the game more towards what it's supposed to be long term. That probably means that mission payouts and things are going to go up too. We'll start getting paid more on for things based on where they actually are. So here we have... See, this mission person's list is about to give me 34,000 credits to find him. Um, so uh, we're going to start to, I think, see more payouts, a better balance of how much money we're making and receiving, and overall a better ability to fund what we're doing on top of... Things are getting more expensive pricing. Crafting is going to be coming into the game, so that'll be important too. They got to get, start building a lot of monetary value to even the most basic materials with that. And then also making sure that all of the things that are made up of those materials are balanced based on how much those materials cost and how much of them there are in each of those things. So, yee. Yeah. Turn on reference real quick and see if these clouds look any better. Or photo mode, rather. Whoa! does look very good. You can see a lot of the new improvements to the clouds they're doing here with the shadows. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh man. Okay, where are we going? I'm sorry, I just keep getting distracted. Turn on quantum mode real quick. That's my own music. That wasn't uh, game music. Let me jump. No, you just... <laughs> All right, I guess we're not quantum jumping anymore. I'm not playing on Vulcan. I'm on DX11 still. Do I think products should be made from base materials like refined iron or intermittent materials like iron plates? Um, I think just base materials is good. I we don't want to be satisfactory, right?
Microtech Logistics Depot. I kind of want to stop outside of this real quick and see what it looks like. See, okay. That right there. That's what I'm talking about, folks. That, like... I just got slowed down. Y'all know how I land, right? It's hit or miss, because I like to experiment with it. But the only way I'm going to get better at landing quickly is... Apparently... By randomly dying. Perfectly sad music. They target locked me, but I didn't get any missile warnings. I... I got no missile warnings. I got no shots. I got no damage indicators. Ah, dang it. That's, uh, that sucks. Hostile DC turrets. Tyrus. Tyrus in chat. Hostile DC turrets are invisible. Why are they hostile? Why is it sending me the. Okay. So that's a learning opportunity for me. I need to learn to make sure to check what's the reputation system that's tracking me. Um, so I didn't, why is there a missing person at a hostile place? Why'd he go there? We know why he's missing. We don't need to find him for that. I can let, I can tell you. Dude got yeeted by the turrets. That was your first DC experience? Sending me, that's why it pays so well, huh? Because you got to sneak in there. What band is this? Uh, this song is called Daisy Chain. Or the song is called Give It Love. Maybe the band is called Daisy Chain. Yeah, I got to sneak in through the vents. Do some stealthy gameplay. Uh, but that means I'm going to need a vehicle to get there on foot. Like, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. And nothing even lets me get vehicles right now. Let me see if maybe there's another DC mission I could take. You recall the noble pro progenitor was called a Vorta? A Vorta. Oh, so what I was saying when I did blow up was when I was coming in for that landing, usually what I like to do is if I'm going to land, how can I show you this? Okay, check this out. Check this out. So if I'm going to land here, up here, and I'm flying from down here, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fly straight here and then set down i'm gonna like kind of curve in and then set down so like as i'm curving in i like to put my landing gear down right i think a lot of other people like to do this too you're on your approach you're flying in you let off the throttle so your ship is kind of coasting and getting closer but you're not quite ready to slow down to land yet and then you hit your gear and you like you feel real cool because your gear's coming out and you're, you're you're sliding to the side and you're ready to set down 
But the, the way that they did it in this patch, which thank God is going to change, um, as soon as you hit that gear button, it just kind of throws a space break on you. Like a... immediately drops your speed. I'm... They're doing all this hover mode kind of stuff. And it's super jarring if you're used to landing like that. They are going to make it a choice coming up soon, which I am grateful for. But it it it's definitely noticeable. Like I, it makes you change the entire way that you land. The mule finally has a use blending with all the other cargo haulers. The mule is bait. Wait, do I want to go to the spaceport? I don't even have a. I'm just going to go undersuit citizen this time. I'm so over getting things together. Although I do want to fight. I want to shoot somebody. Oh yeah, the death number. Thank you. Death count is up to 208 overall. And it's at a lovely 4 for the patch. Not bad. Yeah, it's like a speed limiter. Gives you the whiplash gets in my neck you like the new landing approach with having a slower speed when gear is down oh I totally get that some people like it but I definitely want the choice to remove it for myself it'll help a lot with people who aren't really used to flying or, or controlling their speed as they move around or trying to pay more attention to other things um but maybe having the choice of switching a system like that would be better. Yo, this, the city looks a lot more vibrant, right? I guess because it renders all of the windows from much further away. Look at this. I can see the windows in those buildings over there. Is this new? Is that part of the new lighting updates they did? Balls to the wall. Pitch hard up, it gear drop down. I've had some very cool um landings like that where you like flip you come in hard and then you flip and burn and the burn hits perfectly so it stops you right by the ground Ooh, sweet oh trust me i would love to start spawning at tressler but it keeps resetting me to babbage Having a precision positioning mode separate from the gear might be a better move. You like it, just not sure it makes sure to have it limited just to landing gear. That's also true. Just a precision mode would be nice because you're not always trying to move slow just when you have your gear down. Yeah, that's a good point. ATC don't like fancy landing pilots, so that's why you have slow speed for dropping your gear. Yeah, but we're not always landing where there are places with APTC, right? I'm not talking about flipping and burning at a <laughs> landing pad at a space station. I'm talking about when I'm hanging out with some friends next to the canyons of Damar and I want to look cool. My friends aren't going to be like, Whoa! Whoa! Space Tomato! Slow, slow the ship down, man. You got to be more professional about it. Let me freaking swang my ship, dude. My C1's got a big fat fucking ass. Let me put it in rotation when I'm landed. Mm. That's what I say. Do distribution centers have any gameplay in them? Yes. We just ran a mission in one. <laughs> ran a mission. Is it normal for the Metro to just clip into the environment? No, this is crazy. I am not doing, I'm not giving this the proper attention it deserves for how absolutely insane it's being right now. 
I think I'm in a space station. Okay, I better hope so, because the train's leaving me. Yeah, okay, we were in a space station. Thank God. Where are we? We're at the spaceport. Let's let's just go from here. <laughs> Shake that C1. Drop the landing gear way before landing. Speed limit just makes you so you can't do that, making landing actually less safe. It does, yeah, it, I do find myself lowering my landing gear much later now. Did they change the visuals? Yes, there is a small lighting update, this this patch. I am not using Vulcan, though. Oops, they're talking about opening this up to more waves tonight. It's crazy how they're forcing this through to hit Invictus. Oh, I don't think they're trying to hit Invictus. I think they're trying to hit well before Invictus. They probably want 323.1 to go out for Invictus. Wait, what? Didn't take me upstairs? Oh, I didn't... I didn't bleep out fat. I blipped out a different F word. You gotta pick from the hierarchy, you know? I gotta triage what I can and cannot bleep. If I'm bleeping three words in a sentence, you guys are like, what? There's no context there. What did he just say? Did he just say, f f or, you know, something else? There's an art. You'd expect this live by next week? Oh, dear Lord. I hope not. How many more key bindings do you have to memorize or bind to your sticks for master modes? Mm, you just got to know how to switch your operator modes and your master modes. Master modes being B and operator modes being middle mouse button. That's about it. Ooh, I think that would be a bad play for them to try and link the new locations to the Invictus Week events. Not worth it. Not worth the risk. Invictus Week, they need to play it safe. It's their second biggest in uh their second biggest funding week of the year. And they need to just make sure that it runs smoothly, that the sales go okay that the game is at least approachable and it's got a decent experience for all the people who are going to be flooding in because it's going to get a lot of press. It's going to get a lot of press, especially because 323 is coming out around the same time, which is part of why they're definitely not going to let it slip past. But I do think that they're going to give it a couple weeks because they want to have a hot fix. Let's see, let me think. Um... Okay, for now, I just need to get up to the space station. From the best in shopping. Just going to take a cutter. Vehicle 323.2 IAE. Yikes. I think if we were still on the 323 branch, we'd be at least be at point four, right? Hangar 4. You don't think this is going live until around Invictus? I think I think two to three weeks from now, this will probably be at least an open PTU. And I think... I'm thinking they'll do this probably first week of May, right? First or second week of May, this goes live. And then the end of the second week of May, right before Invictus week, 323.1 goes live with bug fixes. And then sometime, I'm hoping in June or July, I'm hoping July, 
because they've got a weird way they're doing their updates now, but it could wait until August. We'll get a 3.23.2 with modularity, with probably vehicle elevators and hangers, with um, placeable markers on the star map, with like some of those extra polishes to the features we're getting now. If that's the case, if it does happen like that, then I would think 4.0 October, November. If server meshing is ready this year. No, I don't think it should show. It's looking a lot like so there are other patches that come around this time of the year, to be honest. They do... Ow. The only reason I'm, I'm even saying that that might be a possibility is just because that's what they've done before. They like to get the big patch out and then get a extra helping patch before the event goes live. You're expecting a similar rollout as 318? Nah, 318 was a complete change of the uh, item storage system in Star Citizen. That was un that, uh, was unprecedented. Like, that's never happened before. Not even 3.0 had that happen before. That was just the overall way that the system handled tracking items completely changed. Nothing like that in 323 except for the replication layer split. And we can see from the way that they're doing this how easy it is for them to turn that on and off. They don't have to run the game with that. With 318, there was no going back. Once they changed over to the new system, it was it was good and done. Your fam's going away for the month of June, so you hope SC can replace your loneliness during that period. Also, make you meals. SC makes great meals. The best beans. Best beans in the business. Next server messing testing, probably after 323 goes live. I have not seen Star Cloth in this patch. No, I haven't seen it on patch notes either. <laughs> 318 PTSD. Hey, let's not slander slander names in here, yeah? Three eighteen was definitely one for the books. But I don't think we're ever gonna have a patch like that again. You don't see 323 being any better than 318 unless they strip it down, which they have already. Why do you say that, Mayo? Look, what is it in 323 that makes you think it'll be the same as 318? You think Starcloth is in because you have new robes when you die there are new robes i haven't moved a, a football around them to see if they react as they should hello they just say they don't even in in <laughs> encourage you to come land they don't make you feel better 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 they just say hello and then hang up You know what I'm noticing? The lighting around these space stations is a lot more consistent. You know how usually you'd be flying around on the dark side of the planet and the space station would get these weird glitches of lighting where you could see it and then not see it and then see it and then not see it and then you crash into it and die? It's completely consistent now. It's all basically unseeable, which is, you know, good. I think that's kind of what I would prefer. Makes you feel like I'm actually around a big space station. But that must be part of the lighting updates we've been seeing. Look at the lighting on these freaking landing pads, man. All of it looks really good. 
you gonna let me land here? Okay, well then open the door. Come on, man. I did all this. Open the... Okay, let's just go to a landing pad. Okay, what's going on now? What are you doing? <laughs> that wasn't me, by the way. I didn't... I'm not... Okay, I'm not doing this. Stop it. <laughs> Please. What have I done to you, Star Citizen? What did I do to you? Okay. I just want to land. Whoa! No! Please! Normal 323 stuff. Just good old fashioned 323 fun. Okay, I just need to find landing pads. Where are they? Now that they fixed the lighting, I can't see anything. And I can't go anywhere. Have I noticed the lighting on the mining outposts and other places on various planets and moons? It looks a lot better, if that's what you're saying. <laughs> it's the lighting. The lighting is what's doing this to my ship. Hey, this is not a 318 kind of problem. This is a, this is a, a most, most major updates from CIG kind of problem. 318 problems are not being able to log into the game. A, a, a torque misappliance in the ship kind of thing. This happens in the live servers, man. Major torque imbalance. I don't know why I have one besides a glitch, but... This is, uh, I would say if you're looking for a 318 level problem, that would come from, uh, replication layer. But again, <laughs> replication layer is not a stand-in, a permanent stand-in, a necessary permanent stand-in for 323, like the database reset is. You cannot look at what's going on with 323 and say it's like 318. You know why? Because of parts that were supposed to go into 323 that would cause that problems the server the uh, replication layer separation were supposed to be in 321 and 322 and now 323 and if it can't work for 323 they'll delay it again they're not going to push it they didn't do it in the last two updates and I don't think they will in this one I think the fear mongering about this being like 318 needs to stop this could be a bad patch, but it's not going to be where people aren't logging in for two weeks at a time. Now, where's my dang landing pad? Yeah, I might just EVA, to be honest. But unfortunately, they still don't give you any indication as to where landing pads actually are. So until I can find one, I'm not going to get out of my ship. There we are. <laughs> I hate Drake. Will that make me fly better if I say that? Alright, now screw this ship. I don't even want it anymore.
Unplayable is unplayable is unplayable. You are categorically wrong with that statement. There are so many different levels of unplayable. From interactions not working to your helmet not rendering when you start the game to not being able to get into the launcher. There are 315 levels of unplayable where the loot system wouldn't work. There are 3.0 levels of unplayable where FPS would be below 12 FPS for everybody. There are literally unplayable like 318 when you couldn't log into the game. It's, it's not like a bad patch is going to look like the worst patch there ever was. We, one of those leave my ship on the pad types. My ship's not on the pad. Hey, at least this system works completely well. Oi! Ouch. The EVA system's really good. That's the uh, that's one thing that seems to not have any hitches. It's the Drake Spinner. The Drake Beyblade. 318's when you started Star Citizen, you had no issues. It ran great for you. Sig, I think you were the you were the problem then. You came in and broke the game, and it worked for you, but everybody else had to deal with the problems. <laughs> it's unplayable because your your parents won't let you play. Your parents are making you finish your um, what's the best spaceship and star citizen test before you can jump in and play. <sighs> All right, time to try another ship and see if... I don't have many options for like a small ship with an interior. Could always go with the MPUV cargo. But the Cutter is useless right now. Alright, let's see if the 135 can come back in time. Your insurance claim One minute. It's enough time for us to go buy a gun, right? I left a quarter of my pad health on the pad. Give me my health back. Give me a pen pen. Give me some drugs. If you have access to both EPTU and PTU, which would you select? The EPTU right now. Nice choice. How many levels are there are for you personally is totally different. Yeah. Everybody has a different level of what what is and is not unplayable. There's that too. Medical concerns got you worried? Forget that stress. Just relax. Everyone here at And like every person has a personal amount of jank they're willing to go through before they decide they don't want to play a game anymore. Everybody. So you just sometimes you just want to stop. You joined in at the tail end of 318. It took a little while. That was rough. They haven't updated the progress tracker in a while. They're working on it right now to update it with Star Citizen 1.0 information and probably basically everything that comes after 4.0. Oh, we're going to buy a gun. Drugs and guns. That's what we come to space stations for. One thing they need to do is find a more elegant solution for what happens when you log in after being logged out for inactivity. Any suggestions there? What's the difference between the two? 
You mean drugs and guns? Yeah, the, uh, the drop of the Raptor. The cleaning ship. Ship? Vehicle? And they actually released it, right? You can go and pick one up at the space stations. Hi. Game should just log you back in where you logged out. Ooh, that's... That's an easy exploit, though. If you can log back in right where you logged out, you can just, like... Log out on people's spaceships and then log in when they're not expecting it and, and kill them. I think logins and logouts need to be linked to something that people can actively remove. Every MMO works around this. I mean, it's about how the MMO is designed, right? If they've, if they've designed the game to not allow people to log in everywhere, then allowing one way to log in everywhere but not other ways would mess things up. If they're going to change the entire game so that you can log in or log out anywhere, then that's different. But I'm just saying if, if they stick to their logging restrictions, um, then that'd be rough. Saw them talking about changing bed logging. I don't think they're going to remove it, though. I think that's a really big part of how the game is balanced. Like sh ships having beds and stuff. Bed log should be the only way to return to where you were. You could have a bed and take it where you are. I think that's reasonable too. Oh, I need a... Backpack. Can't log out like that if you're trespassing or something like that. I mean, you don't have to be trespassing. You could be right outside of somebody's base, maybe. But again, I think... As long as there is something physically there that's representing that you logged out there, like a cot or a sleeping bag or something, that makes sense. But just being able to select a button to log out and then log back in randomly in that spot seems iffy compared to how they've built this, built the game. They want people to have to like take time to get places. Okay. So there's some stuff we've got. Um, do I have med pens? I do. I should grab a couple more. Wish they would make suit lockers work in ships. Yeah. Soon-ish? They're supposed to save your whole loadout too, which would be great. They can come up with rules to get around people exploiting. How about the rule of you have to log in a bed? How many beds will they allow per module? Right, like in a certain area. It's hard, the way they're trying to build the game makes those things hard. Because they're trying to focus a lot on making sure people don't aren't, aren't able to just show up places or be places. They're trying to emphasize the distance between locations and space and stuff and all of this or talk about respawning with beds and stuff. I mean, ships that have um, medical beds. You like waking up in bed in game, especially on your own ship. I love waking up on the ship. It's very cool. Don't understand why so many NCIG say bed logging has to change. Some ships have the whole bed thing promoted. Don't see why they need to change from the initial plan. Have they said they're changing from the initial plan? Or are they just like making some tweaks?
think people disagreement of how the game should be designed i think based on what's more important to folks and like just what they originally said uh four why is it good that you are tied to a bed to be able to log out to be able to continue playing where you left why is it good well it adds rules into how you can log in and out so, like, they built these ships. Their original intent with this game was to build ships to have specific ranges. So, the difference between a short-range ship, like a drop ship, like the Prowler, and a longer-range ship, like... Nom, 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 nom. Um... Like a Cutlass. Both of them can be used as drop ships, but one has beds. The reason one has beds is because it's supposed to be on long distances, away from space stations, away from ships, away from other things. It allows you to basically create a home that travels in space. Same goes for this. This is a ship that has a definitive bonus over the Pisces. The only reason it has that bonus is because on the inside, it has a bed. As starter ships, you choose which one's most important to you. The Pisces is the smallest ship that can seat three people. So maybe that's important to you, getting people places, right? The cutter has a shower. <laughs> maybe that's important to you. Some hygiene. I think this one might also have a shower. Um, uh, no, this is storage. This is all storage. This ship has a bed, though. So you can use it as a home. If they get rid of bed logging, why did you buy this ship? Why did you buy any of the ships that have beds that supposedly are supposed to support a certain amount of crew? That's a huge part of the, the design of the whole game that they'd have to be shucking off. Since when are the total death countings? Uh, beginning of 2022, I think it is. The difference should be fuel. Why can't it be both? Fuel doesn't really make too much of a difference because you can refuel out in the in the dark. Have I watched Frarian? I have not heard of that, no. You are clear to launch. Would you mind sharing thoughts? Wait, what? Sharing thoughts on number of gameplay steps, like cargo? I'm not sure exactly what you mean. For resting, getting stamina back, easy solution. You're looking for a solution for a problem that doesn't exist, though. They designed the game for beds, guys. Why are you trying to find ways to change the game and then come up with solutions for those changes when the, the way they've developed these ships is already there? It, it's like since 2013. Why not just stick to what they wanted to do and see if it works? If you log out just anywhere, you should still show up where you logged out. Otherwise, people will abuse for fast travel like we do now. The original intent is if you log out anywhere, a supposed transportation service would take your character back to your last space station or whatever you were at. Oh, look, you do see people moving around in real time. Huh. What? That's pretty wild. I didn't know that. You like the idea of being able to have a bed roller tent that you could store in ground vehicles? Yeah, I think that's a phenomenal idea. Because then you have to sacrifice other things to carry around your bed roll. It kind of plays into the gameplay. 
Some like the realism Robert wants doesn't translate well to gameplay. Number of steps to transport cargo is one example. Where is line now? Where should it be? I think they're hitting a good balance. Making it making it specialized enough that like not everybody enjoys it and the people who want to specialize it can. But also saving some some aspects of it. The old bedlogging system breaks so many future systems. If you're trapped or lost in a cave, just log out and you'll be back in a safe spot when you relog. That's a good point. But why not find another way to fix that rather than getting rid of bedlogging entirely? Why not say if you are in a place where you can't, I don't know, you're not in direct sight of something or you can't ping back to a station or something other than let's just remove the whole system. It just seems like removing the whole system creates more problems than it solves. Yeah, this is the PTU. I'm not live. All old ships have hydrogen intakes, and all of a sudden they want to take the ability to collect hydrogen for fuel from most ships, so there's that. But they changed that a while back, no? Like, they've been designing ships that can do that kind of stuff specifically. Or is that something newer? Bed logout punishes people who can't play four hours. So then, for the people who can't play four hours, let them carry a bed so they can log out wherever. I, th I feel like I've said that, like, at least six times so far. Carry a bed with you. Carry a bed with you. You can log out anywhere. Carry a bed with you. Log out anywhere. It's literally the same exact thing. It's just adding it to the end game systems. Like a bedroll. Like the first step of base building, yeah? Alright, I think I'm just going to crash into this this door and uh, we'll hope that that does it. <laughs> Let me out, Tressler. <laughs> EPTU. I wonder what our server FPS is right now. If it's not below five, I'll riot. 2.8. Okay, I'll accept that. Could you describe step by step the list of number of at player actions you need to take to do something you think shouldn't take that many steps? What? Would you like that in MLA format? I, I honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't list that out for you. I don't even know what steps everything takes in this game. <sighs> so this was a problem from the beginning when I couldn't land and the door wasn't opening. It's just the same thing. I am trapped here. Uh. Ouch. Oops. Oh, am I? Open the door then. Will this give me a crime stat? You like the way it is now? The game is so is too buggy at this point to even care about the issue of balancing logging out and combat logging. Certainly a problem for CIG to be worried about. I think... You know, and I bet you if I died right here, I would just respawn back at New Babbage. I wouldn't even spawn at this space station. 
Because they, they actually hate us. <sighs> yeah, I've tried the key binding. I've tried all of it. I don't have much to say about escape pods, to be honest. I hope they work. Mm, 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 mm. Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -da. Okay, what can we do here? What can we do? Um, I guess we could just go back out to our cutter. Assuming that's still out there. Oh, right, no, the cutter doesn't even fly correctly. Hmm, okay. Um, nom, 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 nom. If you don't like steps, this might not be the right game for you. An immersive simulation that literally tries to replicate a what if on space life while trying to still be fun. Not sure why people are mad about it. I don't know if they were mad or if they were just asking. Davey, have we ever had this much content planned for a single year? Feels like a first. That's fair. They can work on alternatives to bed loggings too. We are in the EPTU right now. I need to change that title. I'm sorry, guys. I am so not used to the distinction. I think this, I think this is just done. This server is just not, oh! And just like that. <laughs> Have I thought about working on a new breed of tomato? We are in-depth tomato farmers, I'll call us. I'd like to see what kind of magical tomatoes we can make up. Just a uh, drunken... Never mind. I'm going to stop down that line of conversation. No, we didn't server recover. It's still at zero. Unless they're not tracking it. Maybe, though. If they turn that off. It's not a pregnancy announcement, no. Do we know what gameplay mechanics will be involved with escape pods? Um, I mean, they can be shot down. And it's like the worst crime in all of human space to shoot down an escape pod. But you'll have to get rescued when you use one. Alright. Let's try... Maybe a docking port will work? But what's the point of using a docking port? I do not want to take a hammerhead out. I don't even know why I have one. Maybe I can get one of these four. Why are there four dragonflies? It's 
Stuck in hangar four. Okay, let's try the MSR. I like don't even I don't even consider the MSR anymore because I got the the spirit, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, we want mini tomato. Hey, you know what? So do we. <laughs> like, I don't I don't think we've made that a secret. Timing though. Yeah, call to prayer is going on. I honestly can't be bothered to get up right now. So we're just going to let that play out in the bag. Did it not say Super Hornet MK1? Like, so there is an MK2 of it? No, they just call all of them Mark 1s. Because, uh... They... <laughs> guess they, they do have Mark 2s in the lore of them, technically. It's just not in the game yet. Need the there he is call? There he is. Look at how big this thing is! God, the spirit makes this look even bigger now. Holy crap. Dang. Not only is it huge, it's far off the ground, too. Like, who, who's touching that? Who's touching this button? Button? Without jumping. I have not given up on the, on the MSR. I would never. Whoa! The Samrasar was a gift from an amazing individual here in chat. Or was here in chat. I don't know if they're still here. Oh, I'm not closing. You have no idea how hot it is in this room right now, guys. I'm sorry. You have to put up with the call to prayer for a couple minutes. Finishing all the Xeno initiative missions. I think it's... I think you have to beat Xeno Threat too, At the end. What's the point of the MSR? It is for storing data. Mainly. So data at some point will be viewed as a commodity. A lot like physical boxes. And you have this whole, these server racks back here that can store data. And then you have a room here that is specifically for scanning the data waves. I don't know, the interwebs, whatever you I can start it, call it. Had to make a new character, but all your old stuff is in the local bank. Even though this wasn't your home before. That's convenient. You've never seen people have fun in this game? Hold up. I'll link you a video real quick. There you go, my dude. The other us. Check that video out. That's probably some of the most fun I've had in a game so far. Open. Please open the doors. Please. Please, God. I'd also check out Bed Bananas videos. What if there was a fee for logging out when not bed logging? A fee is paid to be picked up and returned to base? Yeah, that's fair. There you go. It works with what they've already had planned, too. 
I love that idea, though. Hey, if you don't use a bed, we're gonna charge you money. <laughs> you had a ton of fun of Jump Town? Usually I have fun with this game when I'm playing with other people more. I think it's still a little bit too glitchy for me to have fun on my own. I mean, I do have fun on my own. I'll, I'll take that back, but... Uh, it's definitely not as consistent as when I'm playing with other people. Thank you. The police is here. How about no? These people literally trap me in their hangars, abuse my ships, don't let me leave, and then when I finally get out, they're like, oh, please come back. No! I'm gonna leave you a terrible review on... What's it called? Uh, Yelp. Joshua, what's up? When you play solo, everything seems to work smoothly. Then you invite a skeptical friend, it all falls apart. Yeah, never try and show somebody the game. It is known. The routing system is much better in this. I mean, the fact that you can just like search for something and find it super quick and set a route to it. And it actually looks pretty good while it's doing it, you know? Yelp, that's the one, Space Yelp. I feel like clicking on these should take me to that objective location, you know? If I already know where it is on a map, then clicking on that should do it. In my humble opinion. Alright, cancel this route. We don't want it. when it lets you press the root button. Yeah, it doesn't do that sometimes, huh? But I, I just, I want a mission. I don't want to use this mission. This mission requires me to like, hoof it in by foot and not get shot by invisible turrets. And I'm not, I'm not here for that. Whatever. It, it's also nighttime over there. Star Citizen, why do you do that? Why do your planets rotate? I also can't see to seem seem to see any of the details anyways. All right. I guess let's just do this. Have to exit the text screen. I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, it's not really working. 
Let's just jump. Oh, I gotta cancel my route to jump. Oh, I see. Still typing in the search bar. Thank you. Oops! There is one of those habits you gotta break. No music? You can't hear it? I accidentally switch into the other master mode whenever I'm just trying to jump because it's the same button now. And now we switch back. Hope one day we can set routes from a place in one city to a place on another planet. It sounds like they are looking for a middle ground to not allow you to have just every location and destination you need to go to be able to have a set route, but to help you get to the general location. So I'm not sure if they'll give you the choice of navigating step by step to the exact place you want to go, but they're trying to do something to help people who are looking for that. Has the navigation night flying been mentioned lately? No! We've got no solutions to nighttime flying yet. Besides, hopefully don't crash into the ground. In fact, in this new PTU, the ping no longer lights up the ground. So you basically just can't see anything. All right, so we need to try and figure out how close we can fly in without getting killed, without crashing into the ground, and without getting too far away that I can't run to the destination. This is gonna suck. I can't even tell how far from the ground I am besides the altimeter, and you all know how bad that is for telling. This is just actually a really bad idea. I need something a little bit more intense for this. There we go. So you can see the ground. That's a start. Now our destination. I'm gonna switch on over to combat so that we can actually have our shields on in case they do decide to shoot us. Something's really messing up my FPS in first person. What is going on? This is terrible. What if I turn and look another direction?
Maybe it's my light? Okay, there's another ship here that's probably as close as we can get. Ah, oh, see? There it is again. Now I can't fly in with my landing gear down because it slows me down too much. Okay, it says security controlled area. We've got infrastructure, so there's probably going to be turrets somewhere around here. Okay, I must be getting close enough. I'm going to try and settle down right over here. We've got about a click to hoof it. What's the song? It's called Sugar Colors by Imaginaria. When they added derelict se settlements, you got three seconds per frame on approach. Yeah, I've I've been saying these new locations actually perform kind of better than the usual new locations. All right, now for the no long trip. Hopefully, I don't die of cold. Where's my? Okay, it's just not switching to my guns right now. Cool, let's go. Hello, France. Welcome in, good to see you. Oh, I landed in SCM. I at least did that much. Dang, we got a long way to go. Yum, 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 yum. What's up, Frisch? Oh, I'm in an armistice zone. So how the heck am I supposed to defend myself against these things? See, even if they had released the Ranger, the reason that I'm not using a vehicle right now is because I didn't want to go to an outpost and wait 20 minutes for the vehicle to spawn, you know? We're so close to getting them removed. Vehicles only take like five minutes. No, I mean because everything's reacting incredibly slowly right now. So I didn't want to have to go there and sit in front of the kiosk and wait for the thing to actually function and get a vehicle. Thought it'd be faster to just come here and run. Wow, my ship's lights get really far. Wait, that's way better than it used to be, eh? Look at this. Like if, oh God. If I was actually assaulting this base, people would know exactly where I was, huh?
We're almost a kilometer away from this place. I wonder if that's a uh, Vulcan stuff or what that's allowing them to render lights from so much further now. Yeah, you could have all kinds of mission content out in these places. You don't even have to make it to the main structure. You could just have the you could just have the um, the mission to secure one of these wings, get a box out, get it on a ship, and take it away. You know, it's there's a lot of potential for these locations if they can get designers to put more content in here. Love these road trees, you know. Reminds you of Delamar, what Delamar used to look like? I miss Delamar. No problem. English is fine. You're English. All right, we made it to the main facility. Are you guys cool? Trespassing. Okay. So I'm literally going to have to sneak in here. Because I don't even have a gun. Like, I can't... Hey, y'all mind if I use this entrance here? You cool? entrance the door open wow these places are so big Look at this. I'm not wanted right now. I will be when I go inside. You know, if I had a better reputation with whoever owns this, I guess Microtech, they probably wouldn't say I'm trespassing. Yeah, Vulcan is a graphics renderer. Also the name of a ship we really want to see in this game. Yeah, I don't think this door is opening. Oh, what? Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, God. Why do they do this? Oh, I'm not falling for that one. Wow. 
Well, at least I'm, uh... Alive. How the heck do I even get out of here? I am so stealthy. I'm under the ground. It's kind of funny to see that the underneath this structure, all of the same materials are still there. All the trees are still growing and everything. Must get a lot of sun down here. Alright, let me... Distribution. Center. Do I have the song by chance for this one? A little intense, eh? It's called Volga, and the artist's name is A Journey Between Us. Oh my god, I think I found it. I'm getting out of the back rooms. The space back rooms. The space rooms. The backspace. <laughs> oh, I might have to backspace because it seems they got me locked in here. Get out of here, Microtech. Bunch of scammers. I think we're trapped. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think this is a... Uh... This is a dead end. Death five, no. Quitting by glitch is not a death. It doesn't count. Or just relog. This music is extra intense for this. It's like, find a freaking escape. Why don't these ladders just come all the way down? Why don't they just go under the floor? Are the missions are functional, but as you can see, the distribution centers themselves are wont to be. Ah, uh, I don't think we're getting out of it. <sighs> I don't think we're getting out of it. Bummer too, because we, I just wanted to do some missions in these locations. No, I don't even have a multi-tool. If I climb up and steal a rope, I can lower it back down to climb back up. That's true. I just gotta... break space-time. Oh? Ah! <laughs> I thought I broke their rules. Whoop. 
Where are we? Extra stealth gameplay. This is the Hitman version of Star Citizen. Where you can break the game and the fourth wall to reach your opponent. How funny would that be if they had little ladders outside of the level for all the people they knew were going to glitch out? game is stuck on login starting screen and giving you a 19,000 error code. What version of the game are you trying to join, Aladix? Is it PU? Nom, 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 nom. I'm in the upside down. This is so much more pleasant than what I thought the upside down would be like. Can I go this way? Please? Please let me go that way. Why not? Why not, game? What's wrong with the... Come on. What's your problem? Huh? What's your problem? Yo, tell me why it bounces the color off of that. It bounces the yellow. Are they like low-key trying to fake some global illumination stuff right there? I don't think there's any way out of here. Ooh! Hey! No! No! <laughs> oh, I thought we had it. I thought we were good here. Nope. Okay. There's no way out of here. Well, folks... That wraps it up for me then. <laughs> I was really hoping that I could find um, a chance out of here to maybe finish this mission, but we're coming up on four hours here. Yeah, just about done, uh, ready to wrap things up. Unfortunately, we didn't get to run all these missions we wanted to and really get to explore these facilities, but I'm gonna give it another go in a couple days on Friday. I will be back with you with some more for some more gameplay. We'll be looking at some uh, some more of the PTU. 323 new features and stuff hopefully by then we'll see another patch with some other new features we can test out but until then um i am actually waiting for the roadmap roundup to come out today before i post the video that i have i've been sitting on this video for you guys and i'm ready to put it out it's about cargo and like the big changes coming to the new patch and i'm super excited for it but if i i think i said this earlier today if i drop it before and then they delay it it's not gonna be great so Keep an eye out for that video tomorrow if they don't delay cargo features. And I will be back with you on Friday for some more of this 323 gameplay. Thank you all for chilling with me today. It was a challenging one, as it is in the EPTU. But I appreciate your patience. And I will do my best to keep giving you some more content on the new stuff coming up. Um, yeah. Thanks all for being here. Appreciate you. Sorry if you just joined. We'll be back on Friday, though. Keep an eye out for the timing, everybody. Cheers to you all. I hope you have a great day. Eat something yummy. 
see somebody you love, have a good time, and I will see you all on Friday. Bye bye, cheers, and uh, Kalagalsen. Thank you.